Hello everybody, welcome to Kishino Moldova! <laughs> this is my cat Nikita. Just as I am ready to film, Nikita and my other cat Nadezhda decide to have a fight, so I'm trying to distract them. But hello and welcome to my video where I, play, where I show all the things I managed to knit in the month of September. Let's start with the dress. I remade the dress, especially the bottom of the dress, because I felt like it was not long enough. And I remade the belt. So this is the belt that I made from Alize Cotton. And this is the skirt part. So now it's long enough. I wore it today. I was at the yarn sale. I was at the yard sale. I was out and about and everything and actually i have a lot of things to show you so if you are knitting happy knitting if you're crocheting and listening happy crochet if you're just cleaning and listening uh good luck with the work happy making and let's start i have here it's a whole mess in front of me and i have the list right here so September for me was a very good month. I went back to knitting with bigger needles, with a bigger size yarn. I went back to work, which was also very nice. And I tried to take it easy. I'm trying to make my activity as a creator, as a maker, and also as an employee as sustainable as possible. And this means sometimes to just take it easy and not stress. And this is a new thing for me. I'm trying it. Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't work. So whilst coming back to work, I was knitting on a pair of socks. This is part of my gift basket that I'm knitting all throughout the year, I think. And these socks are for one of my brothers. This was with 2.25 millimeter needles and the yarn is Alize Superwash Sock Yarn 70. What is this light? I apologize. Uh, you guys are sitting in my pot, <laughs> plant pot, so sometimes the sun, it's a bit filtered by the branches of my zizi plant, so I hope it's okay. Oh, yeah, this is better. So this is Alize Superwash, 75% uh, uh, wool and 25 nylon. Uh, I finished the yarn and I'm loving this kind of self-striping yarn. Uh, second, I made, I started knitting more uh, autumn-y, wintry things, uh, and I finished a shawl for my colleague Ina. She saw me knitting at some of the events, and she said, "I would love it if you can knit me something blue, purplish." So I saw this ball of yarn; it was on sale, and I saw the purple, blue, and dark blue. I didn't notice the pink at the time. And then when I was knitting it, I said, oh, that's kind of way too much. So I don't know if I'll give it to Ina or if I'll wear it myself. This was knitted with 4.5 millimeter needles and it was with polyamide and acrylic yarn. It's very soft, it's very uh, fluffy. I'm not sure she would like this because when you wear it, look how much how much of the pink is out compared to how much of the blue and purple. So, and also I was in love with this scarf. I actually wanted to keep it for myself. Uh, and I'll see. I'll I'll keep an eye on the yard yarn store to see if I can manage to find something which has more blue and purple as she requested. And maybe I'll keep this one for myself. But otherwise, this was a pleasure to knit, a pleasure to touch, a pleasure to see, a pleasure all around. And this is again a Turkish yarn, Bellissimo collection, and the brand is called Yarn Art. This is a Turkish company. And I, I finished that shawl or that scarf and I said, let me make another one for another colleague who really wanted one she also saw me knitting at different occasion and she said can you do me something like green blue so i found another skein of yarn from the same collection bellissimo from yarn art and this time i decided to make a more um uh more um how do you call it mm, i thought that it, uh, just knitting it all the stocking it or all garter felt so I decided to make these rows 
like uh, 10 uh, knit, 10 purls, 10 knit, 10 purls. So I have a little bit of structure and I made an infinity scarf. Let me show you, let me show you. It's quite big actually. So I made it for Natalia, one of my friends. And then when I was trying it out, I thought it was way too short. So then I added this part, which was from an old scarf I made last year with the rainbow colors, but it was way too small for me to wear by itself. So I decided to unravel it and add it here because uh, it had this blue, it had this per uh, pinkish, coralish, and the other yarn also had a bit of uh, pink, coral, and blue. So now we have a infinity scarf. And once again, once I finished it, once I saw it all together, I want to keep it for myself. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to gift this one. I mean, it has the green, it has the blue, it has everything that Natalia requested. And it's so fluffy, it's big, it's chunky, it's ready for wear. And I think she will like it. I hope she will be impressed because she has been such a good colleague to me. I want to gift her something that, she will, that will impress her. So this was an infinity scarf, again, 4.5 millimeters, and it was for Natalia Bellissimo Collection Yarn Art. Okay, after all of this, I, I had a few trips outside of Chisinau, outside of the city where I work and live. And when I have trips outside of the city, I usually take a face cloth or dish cloth. And this time I took some reclaimed yarn, reclaimed by my mom, who has the patience of a saint to unravel stuff so she unraveled something i don't know what and i made a dishcloth where is it and i make a loop so that it can be placed this one is for the kitchen no doubt i thought it's gonna be like a face cloth no the minute i finish them they just go in the kitchen and they are in the use and actually this was washed because it was used immediately. So this was done using 3.5 millimeter needles with, I think it's either cotton or linen reclaimed yarn and I love it. Okay, next, it's a bit more complicated. Let me go with the simple, uh, with simple finished objects. Next, I finished this pair of uh, socks, wait, uh, for my nephew Bogdan. They are so cute! Oh my god! And I used some yarn I had laying around. This is also 75% wool, 25 nylon. This is super wash. And before I made this pair, actually it was in my bag and I was just knitting on my way to work, after work, during the, the coffee breaks of this... <sighs> long 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 conferences so i did a test uh, and i made this little sock but i didn't have enough yarn to finish it so i did the top the fingers with this yarn and then i said okay let me do a whole pair with this yarn so i have this i will keep it as a souvenir i even made a loop to add it as a christmas decoration or as just a decoration in my bedroom so this is like uh, nine grams this is 18 grams of wool and nylon and for this i also used two 25 millimeter needles i love them they're so cute and tiny and oh my god and this time i decided to make the cuff a little bit longer so that we can do this <gasps> okay so this is all i showed you my dress okay and now i have something else that is finished but it's still on the floor let me see if i can grab y'all it's still blocking on the floor and this is my raglan sweater called meet the captain i used a free template from drops design and uh, unfortunately when it blocked it bled a little bit and even on the towel you can see that it's a bit pink even though I used um, these color catchers, it didn't work really well, but we'll see. So, meet the captain. This sweater, from what I can notice, it's very popular online, but not as meet the captain, but as uh, the Lyon sweater, which is crazy. I mean, uh, knit designers inspire themselves from each other all the time. So, 
it's normal to see some designs under one title meet the captain other designs the leon sweater but basically it's a raglan top down with stripes so i used filanina fine wool for the burgundy color and some sort of speckled uh, fine wool for the off-white stripes and i had a moth scare oh my god yeah let me let me catch my breath I put a straw in there and it went in. Uh, so I was visiting my friend whilst knitting on this uh, raglan sweater and we were knitting together at her place and she casually said, I might have a moth problem. And immediately like my alarm went on and I, in like a few minutes, I excused myself and I, yeah, I went home and I read online um, that uh, moths are really dangerous. It's really hard to get rid of them. So I decided to film a short video outside in the park. It's on my channel if you can uh, check the shorts. And then I placed it in the freezer where it sits for two weeks. And after that, I took it out and I, uh, I, um, I did this <laughs> so that all the moth larva could fall down. And after that, I washed it. I don't know if I did the right thing or the wrong thing, but I finished it, I washed it, I blocked it, and it's still wet. And the smell, when it was blocking, it smelled like wet sheep. And it was really interesting because it was the first time that I smelled it, anything like this. Uh, I'm a new, uh, I'm a beginner knitter, knitter, and I usually knit with acrylic or cotton, but this year I was trying to discover, you know, some merino wool. And uh, I discovered this uh, producer from Ukraine, Filanina, and I ordered a bunch of yarn. So this sweater was the first one that I finished using fine wool, merino, merino wool from Filanina, and it was the first time that I blocked such a product. So for me, it was a learning curve to, to smell, you know, the wet sheep. <laughs> so I washed it and then I put it in conditioner and then the, the smell kind of went away. Okay, so this is all. I have eight finished objects. So the shawl number one, shawl number two, the face cloth, the socks, the raglan, the, the mini socks, the souvenir sock, as I called it and my remade dress. For the dress, as I said, I made the belt and I remade the end of the skirt. But also I'm working every month, hold on, I'm working on my temperature blanket, which is right here. Um, I'm all caught up until September and the hottest days in August, I decided to make it with deep blue or sparkling blue just because we had crazy temperatures of 38 39 degrees celsius and then I'm, i continued with cherry red and now in september we only have like pink and coral and i'm out of coral uh where is oh yeah i'm using pink and coral is like the next color but i don't know what's happening uh the yarn i used for the temperature blanket is alize burkum classic 100 percent acrylic yarn and it's out of stock i don't know what's happening first it was out of stock when i needed cherry red and i looked everywhere and you have to understand my city is not a huge city it's it, it's a uh, it has uh, like 1 million inhabitants and this is the capital city of the country and we have like three craft stores. So I went to all three and none of them had the Burkum Classic in stock. So now that my coral stock ended, I don't know where to go and find. For example, for my cherry red, I looked everywhere. I, it took me two months and still nobody had uh, Burkum Classic in their stock. So I decided to buy another shade much deeper. This is Alize Baby Best. Uh, I don't know something like that so I still have pink but I need coral because the temperatures in September are 25 26 27 to 30 degrees Celsius and this corresponds to my coral so probably what I will do is I'm going to rest a little bit my temperature blanket on the side but look how big it is thus far 
this is okay i'm stepping on my sweater <laughs> oh i love it i love it i love it i love it and this is the dark, this is the hottest day of the year with this sparkling blue and then only pink and coral okay so i think i'm gonna pause i think i'm gonna wait can you even see me i know i'm so bad at this hold on i shouldn't have put the phone in my plant pot but we're gonna roll with this hold on This is one of the few weekends when I'm not working. So it's now or never. <laughs> so I hear my upstairs, upstairs neighbor started vacuum. I hope you don't hear that because they have a baby. They vacuum and do a certain noise at weird hours. So now it's pretty late for vacuum, but okay. Let's continue. I, I showed you all my finished objects next as per usual you know how the cool kids say uh, according to the just a regular uh, knitting podcast uh, agenda is the whips right so i have only two whips currently on my needles i started this sweater uh hold on so i loved this yarn this is a beautiful turquoise gray a dark blue yarn it is again from Alize which is the most affordable and spread uh, type of yarn in my city Chisinau this is Alize wool time this is superwash wool 75% superwash 25 nylon so I took this I think this summer I bought four balls of yarn and I really wanted a, a long neck, turtleneck sweater. I wanted the turtleneck and I decided to start one. And I start working on the turtleneck uh, with three, uh, how do you say it? Ribbing, three knit and one purl. I don't know if this is called a ribbing, but this is how I started. And I really want like a chunky long neck. I'm thinking that I can fold it like this, but I don't want to. I don't like to fold it. I would probably wear it like this. And I want this sweater to be able to be worn without like a like a button-up shirt or like another tee, uh, like a tee underneath. No, I want just this. It's very soft to the touch. I like how it feels. And I made this super long neckline, turtleneck. I can fold it like this or I can fold it like this quite long and wide <laughs> so now I'm at the spot of of starting to work the raglan and where's my yeah uh, I have already a pattern that I chose I'm not very skilled with I'm reading so patterns so at the moment I what I'm doing is I take advantage of the free pattern that are posted by different uh, sites so currently I'm always uh, on the drops design site which is gardenstudio.com and I found this pattern called emerald hold on oof oof I think this is better why is it <laughs> I'm sorry emerald lake sweater it's a beautiful top down raglan and the raglan and creases are done using a cable check this out and the cable continues until under the arm and to the bottom of the sweater so i started i swatched uh, the yarn uh, i made the i understood what is my gauge so i'm following this pattern and i'm about i finished the neck as long as I liked it and now I'm about to start the raglan increases with the cable so I'm very excited but I, I kind of left it on the side because raglan increases need a lot of my attention and I wasn't ready to do that yet this has been like my knitting uh, right before uh, bed like 1 a.m knitting I even have an update 1 a.m update of this sweater <laughs> so 
so yeah that's me 1 a.m update uh what else what else i also have another whip so if you if you followed me uh in the past i started knitting this cotton extra large shirt and i didn't like the, the combination of blue and lila and gray and i decided to frog it and using that yarn that lila i decided to combine it with some uh, filanina cotton yarn this uh, beautiful blue uh, combination, dark blue, turquoise, and even light blue, lila, light purple, something like that. And I wasn't sure what to make. I made a swatch, I kind of liked it, kind of didn't. Knitting with cotton is weird, it's kind of tough on my hands. So I decided to make something, I don't know what. It's gonna be something really boxy. And I said to myself, so this is what I have thus far. Okay, I don't know if you can see it because of this sun. Ooh, I apologize, you guys. But if you're knitting, you don't even notice all of these errors. So knit on. <laughs> so basically, this is just striped, irregular striping cotton blouse. So I'm thinking that I'm going to make like a bottom up boxy type of blouse or if I finish it and I, it looks really uh, weird, I'm just going to make like a tote bag because it's the same, the same idea. You just knit a square and then sew it to another square. But I wouldn't mind. I love, I'm in my blue era. Everything that is blue is okay to me. Like it looks like like the dogs played with it you know it looks like it was some yarn and the dogs played with it and it it tore it apart but i like it because it's blue it's a different combination of blues so this and i'm working with i think 2.5 millimeter needles or or three i don't know i have to check and i'm using this reclaimed uh yarn which i put double Sorry, I just thought that maybe I should start again because of this weird light, but it's already five, so I'm not sure if I'll have time, 5 p.m. These are my whips. So I have the sweater, which I only did the neck. We'll see if I'll manage to finish it in the month of October and actually wear it. And I'm working on this cotton uh, t-shirt or tee. And next, of course, is acquisitions. Hold on. By the way, I don't know why. First 30 years of my life, water tasted good, tasted fine. Now it doesn't taste good anymore. So I have to drink like sparkling water or, or, or something else. So this is sparkling water. Next is acquisitions. Of course, I had a really bad day one day. Uh, because of work, let's say it. And I popped in into my yarn store and I bought some acrylic yarn. I know I'm trying to move away from acrylic yarn, but it looked so cute. And this is Nako Lollipop, another, wait, let me check if it's from Turkey again. Yes, of course, it's always Turkey. So I think this is um, 100 gram, two, 230 meters. I don't know what that means but I, I chose this color maybe to do something for my nephew I think this color yep and this color they don't have names they have the colors are with numbers so only these two and also today I was at the yard sale I was visiting one of my friends sorry uh, who is also knitting and my uh, strategy is to knit, to record it somehow and post it and just gift away my knits, especially the sock knits. Uh, my colleague's uh, strategy is to knit and to sell. So she was at the yard sale selling her socks, her beautiful socks. And if you're curious, 
she was selling her socks with uh, thirteen dollars to fifteen dollars, uh, the equivalent in the local currency. And I was at the yard yard sale, and I picked up a candle, which was locally made by Leah Candles and Honey, and the the fragrance is Frosted Plume. It is so so nice and this will go to my bedroom I will I will light it up whilst I am knitting this is all with the acquisitions all with the whips works in progress finished objects I think this is all how long has it been it feels like hours <laughs> it feels like hours just because I'm a bit tired I was out in the city and every time I go out it it sucks away all of my energy because even though it's a small city, it is kind of crowded and stuff and you meet people and you say hi and you touch dogs and you kiss puppies and you kiss kids and you buy this, buy that. So I'm a bit ah, consumed. My energy has been consumed and the sun is driving me crazy. I'm not even sitting in the middle. Hold on. So at the end of this podcast, what else can I tell you that you haven't heard before happy knitting happy making happy everything happy crochet by the way i did the belt with the crochet and oh my god i remembered how much i love and enjoy uh this this craft so if you're crocheting happy crochet and of course take care and let me know what have you been working on while listening and also because i'm in my blue era Comment down below if you made it thus far with something blue. It could be anything. A blue heart, a blue yarn, a blue anything. So thank you so much. Oh, 